I decided to sit down and watch this thing called, uh, The Legend of Korra because I heard that it was a sequel to the award-winning Avatar. It took me until about the third episode to figure out that this wasn't a sequel to that Avatar. Which you think would have cleared things up for me, but, uh, you see, I never really watched the, uh, original Avatar, so, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. So in a nutshell, there's this, uh, group of people who, I guess, can bend stuff with their minds, like, uh, earth, fire, wind, water, heart, and- wait, not heart. <laughs> and there's this big Mondo Dudog bender who can bend all of the above! And they're called the Avatar. And that's where our story starts! In the beautiful location of Republican City! Where we meet Korra, the supposed next incarnation of the Avatar. She can already bend fire, earth, heart, I, I mean water, uh, but she can't bend wind, which I guess is what Krillin was pretty good at in the original series. And from what I could gather, the entire first season is about her beating up bad guys in Republican City. I don't know, maybe they're Democrats or something. It's kind of hard to judge a show when you only have like a dozen episodes to go on. I mean, yeah, I bet it is pretty good, but uh, if it weren't for the three frame per second animation, I might actually get into it. But then again, she does ride a polar bear, so that gets an automatic thumbs up from me. 